This is the last of our smoked paprika. This is a Zitava pepper. Today, we turn this into this. Hello, welcome to English Country Life. Welcome to the cottage on, let's face it, we're in autumn and it's a grey, blustery autumn day. My name's Hugh and together with the fantastic Fiona, I run this small holding here in rural Lincolnshire and we produce a lot of our own food, but we're on a mission to say that growing your own food doesn't have to be worthy and dull and grey and boring. It can be spicy and exciting. So today we're going to make paprika. Now paprika is produced by drying and powdering red peppers. You need to use the right varieties. We use Zitava, which is one of the traditional varieties to produce paprika. Today we're going to make smoked paprika, but you can make sweet paprika just by omitting the smoking stage. So you can do either one you want. We planted these beautiful peppers back in February. They're ready about now. So let's show you how to make paprika. I'm going to artificially dry my peppers and dehydrate so I'm picking them. If you don't have any way of doing that, you can just uproot the whole plant, hang it somewhere cool and dark, and they'll dry naturally on the plant. But you're going to want a good number of just the ripe red peppers, because they'll shrink down a huge amount when you dry them. So you're really likely to want several plants to get enough paprika to really make this exercise worthwhile. Now the process of preparing peppers really couldn't be much more simple, but there are a few little tricks. So take off the green stalk, split it down the middle, and then remove the seeds. But what we do is rub off the seeds into one of these little flat trays where we'll let the seeds dry and we'll grow them again next year. If you want to do that, just make sure that you don't keep lots of different varieties of peppers in the same place, because they'll cross pollinate. That's what we want to remove. Take all the seeds, we'll put them in there. Any little bits of pith will go for composting. And I have got a bucket down there. We'll clean out the inside. Then that is ready for preparing. Having cleaned up and de my peppers, I've arranged them on racks because I want to cold smoke them for smoked paprika. You can skip this step if you want sweet paprika. Our cold smoker is just an old oil drum and making your own smoker can be as simple as using a cardboard box. And I'll put a link up above because we've shown how to do that in the past. All the secret is, is to have something called a cold smoke generator. And there's a link down in the description if you want to buy one. They're not expensive, but they generate cold smoke. And all you've got to do is contain that smoke around whatever it is that you're smoking. It imparts that wonderful flavour and it really does add something to things like bacon. But you can even cold smoke salt. With the smoking done, I'm arranging them on a different tray. This one is for the dehydrator. And what we're going to do is pop these into a big dehydrator on a medium heat. And we'll just keep them there until they are completely bone dry. Then we'll turn them into a powder. If you haven't got a dehydrator, as I mentioned earlier, don't panic. Hang the plants up with the peppers still on, the leaves still on. In a cool, dark place, wait for the peppers to dry completely. Then smoke them if you want to. Then turn them into a powder. Either way works. I've got a dehydrator, so I'm doing it with that. Now that the peppers are dry, what we're going to do is grind them down to a powder. Now, in the old school way, you could store them in big dry pieces and use a pestle and mortar to grind them down as and when you want them. It's a good old workout on the forearms, I tell you, but it really, really works. This is the sort of perhaps the middle tier of doing it. This is actually a dedicated spice grinder. It's a big, powerful motor on the bottom and on the top, there's a metal cup which you half fill with whatever you want and then put this cover back on and it will grind it down to a powder very easily. But obviously with the amount we're dealing with, you would have to do a lot of repetitions of that exercise. So we're going to use this. This is a big jug blender and it's got an ice crushing feature and it's actually got a grinding feature on it. And with the big powerful motors, they can do that. So we can use this to grind our peppers down to smoked powdered paprika. 
Do look for those kind of features. They're not all suitable, but the larger ones are. And don't grind for too long because you can burn out the motor. That's how we produce paprika. But I want to make a point here. You don't need anything fancy to do this. Anywhere sheltered, you can grow peppers in the UK. Some varieties can even be grown outdoors. But, you know, we find we do better in an unheated greenhouse, on a windowsill, in a conservatory, something like that. But almost everyone's got something they can use. You haven't got a dehydrator? Fine. Uproot the whole plant, peppers and all, hang it upside down somewhere with the leaves still on, somewhere cool and dark, and the peppers will dry naturally on the plant. You haven't got a blender that can blend powders. Pestle and mortar will work absolutely fine. Honestly, anyone who wants to should be able to do this. We really enjoy producing our own spices. And if there's something you'd like to see, let us know down in the comments what that is. We'll try and produce a video about that particular spice. It might take us a while because most of the time with the growing cycle, it takes about a year. But it is enormous fun to do. It saves a load of money and it proves to us that food doesn't have to be just worthy and bland. If you've enjoyed today's video, can you spare us five seconds? Give us a thumbs up down below. If you'd like to watch future videos on this and everything else we do on self-sufficient living, tap on subscribe down there, hit the bell next to it, and you'll hear every time we upload a new video. And that's a completely free service. But for today, I think I'll go and light the fire. I'm going inside. Take care. We'll see you soon.